Whenever Mahima Gujral goes to New Delhi, India, she spends many hours with the artisans who bring the designs of her sustainable clothing brand's way to life. It's not just because she needs to oversee operations. As the business is based in both Singapore and India. As founder and director of Sway, her main goal is to care for the artisans who work for her. The 34-year-old knows the birthdays of every artisan. The names of their spouses and children, their family circumstances, and even their favorite food and drink. My artisans aren't just workers, said Gujral. Their hands make clothes come to life. So I have to know them, take care of them, and cherish them. Gujral's grandmother was an expert tailor who opened a shop making bespoke ethnic women's wear in India in 1968. The shop, called Priyadashini, later became Sumiu, a luxury fashion label offering Indian ethnic dresses, bridal wear and contemporary designs. Gujral's mother Mohita joined the family business when she came of age. Similarly, the Sway founder herself has been helping Su Miu build its online presence on the website and social media. Her childhood in New Delhi was spent in the workshops her grandmother owned. Watching kutas, saris, and blouses being sewn by hand. Though I was too young to appreciate it at that time, I got to observe how clothes came from a specific source and were crafted by human hands. Gujral said. After getting her bachelor's degree in fashion management at the LaSalle College of the Arts in Singapore, Gujral returned to India to help in the family business. She also landed a marketing job at luxury fashion brand Dior. It was an exciting time, who wouldn't be thrilled to work at Dior? Gujral said. But I had the worst shopping habits and the least respect for clothes. I owned so many items and discarded them easily. I didn't stop to think about who created the pieces, whose hands weaved the leathers and fabrics together. She left Dior three years later and headed to Milan, Italy, for her master's degree in fashion management at the SDA Bicconi School of Management. The lure of luxury fashion had deemed by then and Gujral was thinking of following in her grandmother's footsteps and starting a clothing brand of her own. A pivotal moment came in one of her first classes in Milan. A professor asked the class, who made your clothes? That simple question catapulted her back to her childhood. She said, I see all the clothes around me and I knew my mum made this sorry, my nanny made that kuta, the tailor named Tohir designed that fabric. It was then when I knew that whatever fashion business I started. I wanted to place the humans behind the clothes at the forefront. Gutra launched Sway a year after she completed her master's program. Sway means needle in Hindi, and Gutra's vision was to create versatile clothing with minimal environmental impact in an effort to balance the excess of the fashion industry. She told CNA Women that she wanted to create a brand that treated its crafters with respect and considered them family, the artisan's stories would be a significant part of the clothes themselves. Every Sway product carries a tag that explains the fabric's origin, the artisans who made it, where and how the pattern was designed, and a QR code that takes customers behind the scenes to see the process and hence that created it. Gushra herself had to learn about how artisans worked. I didn't need to look very far, I knew India is home to some of the finest crafters, so I started there, she said. She discovered Women Weave on Instagram, a non-profit group of handloom weavers. And through a Sway employee, she learned about Bagru Textiles, a business run by a fifth-generation artisan whose expertise in block printing was passed down through the generations. She travelled to the Women Weave Workshop in Maheshwar, a town about a two-hour drive from Indore, a city in west-central India. And she was blown away. I met women of all ages. 
from their 20s to their 50s, sitting on the floor or chairs and their hands were doing amazing work, weaving all sorts of fabrics, Gujral said. The women told her that working at Women We felt more than a mere job, it was as if they were part of a wholesome and supportive community. Many of them were responsible for supporting their families, whether as single mothers, caretakers of ill spouses, or daughters, caring for elderly parents. I knew what empowerment looked like when I saw those women. Gujral said. The sounds of the looms, the smells of the natural dyes, the sights of women being in charge, it was wonderful. Visiting Bagru Textiles, situated in the town of Bagru, nestled within the Jaipur district of India, was also enlightening. The whole town of Bagru is known for its textiles and block printing, Gujral said. It was a real visual treat to visit the area and witness all the designs and crafts all around. There, she met Vijendra Chipa, a fifth-generation artisanal block printer and owner of the family business, who shared his insights on creating patterns and vibrant colors using block printing. In their workshops, barely anything is run by electricity, and not because they couldn't afford it, but because they want everything to be run by hand, Gujral said. Hence create the patterns. Hence dry the paint, hence pull the fabrics over the tables, it's all human hands behind the design. At their first meeting in early 2020, Chipper's team shared hot meals with Gujral's team as they were spending the whole day at Begru Textiles. These were unforgettable moments, Gujral said. They remind me why I wanted to do what I do now and to never forget the relationships along the way. Places like Bagro Textiles and Women Weave were where hands came together and clothes came to life. Those meetings with Women Weave and Bagro Textiles laid the groundwork for business partnerships for Sway. Some of the products feature patterns designed by Bagro Textiles and fabrics made by Women Weave. Today, the Sway Workshop, situated in New Delhi, is run by a team of over 10 artisans. This includes skilled master craftsmen who oversee weaving and design, tailors responsible for garment construction, embroiderers who hand sew designs onto the clothes, and hammers who adjust the embellishments and embroidery. The clothes are made from fabrics such as linen, silk, and organic cotton. They cost from around 20 Singapore dollars for keychains and pouches to over 400 Singapore dollars for a silk dress. Most of the prints feature motifs and patterns inspired by nature and the environment and every item is handmade by artisans in India. Working with artisans is a blessing for Sway, Gujral said. I can communicate with the masters in case I need to check anything and I can hear directly from them when there are issues they want to raise. Gujral lives in Singapore with her husband and two-year-old daughter, and travels to New Delhi every few weeks. When she's there, she spends seven to eight hours a day with her artisans. She checks on their well-being and takes note of areas of improvement in their working conditions. It's always a process to know what works best for the artisans. When I take care of my artisans, they pour more passion into the clothes they create and that will impact the wearer in the long run, she said. The goal is to build something together with sincerity and expertise so that someone else will love and appreciate what we build. Gujral said. This will allow others to appreciate and have a deeper understanding of where Sway's clothes come from.